website. And you got nominated for the Emmy for writing. Yes. And what was that whole experience like going to the Emmy ex, uh, the Emmy award show and seeing all of your you know, heroes that you grew up watching on TV? Surreal. I, I sort of felt bad to be nominated uh, alongside them. I'm, I'm kind of a fan, so that was uh, very odd. And uh, a lot of things are, when you get there to like a set, it's like, oh, it's like way smaller and kind of a little dinky and weird in person. But uh, the Emmys were, it was like shocking. I was like, oh my God, it's like huge. It's, uh, it's humbling, you know? What do you think it was about that episode, Ineffective Assistance, that made the voters say, we are going to nominate this for one of the best scripts of the whole year? Man, I think, I do think that when people vote, they like enjoy something that's like a little Hollywood or whatever. So James and Ronald doing a self-tape, I feel like, uh, you know, they're both just like so funny. Ronald unintentionally, and then James is a genius. So that, I think, really pushed it over the edge probably, yeah. Uh, do you think it's possible to do a season two of the show? Or now that the cat's out of the bag, as it were, like, is, would it be impossible to recreate this magic? I think, uh, I don't know, man. People have done really interesting stuff in the space before, and somehow we got away with doing this. So who knows? I think there could be, I think it could happen again. Well, I have my fingers crossed. It's my number one show of the year. Yeah, thank you so much. That's so nice. I appreciate it. And then Spirit Awards, congrats on the ensemble win. Who's going to give the speech tonight? Do you know? I think, I think that Alan's going to say something, and I, but I don't uh, James probably. Not me. I'll be uh, afraid of the microphone. Well, we'll see you up there. Awesome, thank you. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.